What most people don't know about Modern East is that it was actually based on a bolo. It's a blade. It's not a stick art. And Remy's family used to teach it to the bolo battalion, the, the gorillas. And Remy used to always tell you, you got to know where the sharp is. And people saw him use sticks and they didn't understand what he meant. What he was always referring to is you got to know where the sharp of the blade is. So like if you go in to reach in, when he'd always grab a stick from the back and be cool, why don't you wrap it all the way? If you grab the wrong thing, it's your own fingers that come off. How we block everything in modern Arnis, we all do uppercuts on figure eights. A lot of other arts do downward figure eights. I used to go, why can't we do all that cool stuff? Well, it's like deboning a chicken. You can't debone it from up top because you have to cut tendons and everything to separate the piece, but underneath it comes out. So when he would teach us what to do and you go, oh, you uppercut. Oh, here's your figure eight. It's so that you're cutting arms, you can cut through legs. It's separate heads because it wasn't politically correct. It's a war art. Modern Arnis is true self-defense from the Philippines, designed in a way that we can all practice it safely. Remy used to say, if you, you touch you, it's cut already. Well, it is, you don't have to swing it. All I have to do is touch it. And if I can touch you, it'll cut. And that's the idea of the, the thrusting. When we talked about thrusting, you thrust it. And it's a thrusting cut. It's not a poke it in. And when we cut, and Remy said cut, and then you come back and pivot, that's what it's doing to someone. And of course, swim noodles are good because they don't object, and Michael and I can't get in trouble because they don't <laughs> complain about being cut. But that's the basis for it. Um, modern East is really a cutting art. <laughs>